Well, welcome to a brand new week of uh, daily reflections, and we're going to be looking at Psalm 84, and the subtitle is Yearning for God. And today we're going to be looking at longing for God's presence. Psalm 84, 1-2 paints a really vivid picture uh, of the psalmist's intense longing for God's presence. The language used is so evocative and conveying a sense of desperation and earnestness that is almost palpable. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. You know, these words strike a deep chord, revealing a, a desire that goes beyond mere interest or casual wish. It speaks of an all-consuming passion and an overwhelming thirst for God that engages every part of the psalmist's being, soul, heart and flesh. So as we reflect on these scripture, on this scripture, we can be reminded of the moments in our own lives when uh, we have experienced a deep longing for someone or something. And whether it was missing a loved one or who, who was far away or craving for the comfort of a familiar place or yearning for a season of life that has passed. These longings have been strong and deeply felt. But when we compare those feelings to our desire for God's presence, we can realise that our longing for God can sometimes pale in comparison. So why is that? Perhaps it's because, unlike physical or emotional needs that can be immediately felt, the need for God's presence often requires a deeper, more spiritual awareness, and the psalmist's words challenge us to examine our own life, our own heart, and question whether we truly yearn for God in the same way. So do we hunger for him like someone famished who has no choice but to seek substance or do we thirst for his presence as as a parched traveler longs for water in the desert you know there are seasons in life where we we can feel feel this kind of spiritual hunger more keenly times of difficulty uncertainty or loss often draw us closer to God, causing us to seek his presence more fervently. Yet, the psalmist yearning is not born out of crisis, but out of the sheer desire to be near God, to experience his beauty and to dwell in his courts. This is a love-driven longing, a desire to be close to the one who is the source of all goodness, peace and joy. So this passage really encourages us to cultivate a daily awareness and an appreciation of God's presence. It invites us to make space in our life to seek him, not out of duty, but out of genuine longing to know him more deeply. The psalmist reminds us that true fulfilment comes not from the things of this world, but from the being, from being in the presence of God. It's in these courts that we find true joy and substance and satisfaction. So Lord, we confess that our longing for you is not always as strong as it should be. Too often we allow the distractions and the desires of this world to overshadow our need for you. So please forgive us for the times that we have neglected to seek your presence. So create in us a heart that yearns for you above all else and teach us to recognise your beauty and to be drawn to your courts with an undivided heart. And may our souls truly thirst for you. Our hearts and flesh cry out for you, the living God. Amen. So as we go through this week of 
preparing for to to look at Psalm 84. Let's read it daily, but let's meditate on it in these you know by verse by verse as we uh, finish off this week's reflections. May we have a better understanding of what it means to be yearning for God. So until next time, I shall see you then.